Now, scientists at the Royal Botanic Gardens in Kew discovered 74 new plants and 15 fungi last year. Many of the species were found in unlikely places like the top of a volcano or clinging to freezing rocks. They include three new species of Antarctic fungi, a palm that grows underground and an orchid found at the top of an extinct volcano and even a possible meat-eating plant from Mozambique. Well, let's talk now to Professor Mark Chase, who was involved in the naming of one of those new species from Australia. Mark, welcome here to the programme. I mean, 74 new plants and 15 fungi. That's quite a large number. One of your colleagues was talking about the sheer sense of wonder about discovering something that no one else on Earth has actually seen. Is that how you found it, too? Well, yes, it is. It's... uh... It's a wonderful thing to realize that you've discovered something new. But, of course, some of these species were already known locally. Uh, the, the palm, for example, was known but to the people in that area. It just hadn't been recognized by anybody outside their area. So these are, in some cases, not totally new, but new to science. Tell me what you discovered. Well, we actually discovered nine new species of, of wild tobaccos growing in various parts of Australia, some in national parks, others in uh, non-protected areas. And these were discovered as part of genetic studies, which is another way of finding out about new ones. We thought they were new based on what they looked like and their ecology, but then we used genetic methods to demonstrate, in fact, that they are something distinct. They've only just been discovered, but some of them already could be fast approaching extinction. That is a real worry, isn't it? Yes, it is. It is a worry. Many of these new species occur in only one locality, as far as we know. And in some cases, that locality is not in a national park or a reserve, and therefore really subject to uh, uh, human encroachment or disturbance of the environment. Mark Chase, we are nearly out of time on our programme, so I'm going to leave it there. I know it was short and sweet, but uh, fabulous to see both the pictures and uh, hear your descriptions and uh, actually go through some of those new plants that have been discovered. Uh, Mark Chase, thanks for joining us on the programme.